friends, my name is Diana and I am part of the Miami Children's Museum's theater troupe. Today, in honor of Autism Awareness Month, we are reading the book, Giraffes Can't Dance by Gillis Andre and Guy Parker Reese. All about a giraffe who at first thinks he can't dance, but the moment he begins to follow the beat of his own moves, he and everyone around him realize that being different is really cool. In this book, we meet a bunch of different animals and listen to some different kinds of music. It actually makes me want to dance. <laughs> For this special reading, we are going to listen to some music and find the moves that make us feel happy while listening to it. In the end, however we dance is perfect because what makes us unique and different makes us really cool. <laughs> you guys ready to listen and groove with our own moves? Awesome! Here is Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really bad. Okay, everyone, now it's time to stand up. We have our first beats to listen and groove to. The warthogs started waltzing. Now let's listen to this song. It's nice and slow paced, so maybe I want to sway. But this is about finding our own moves, and as we listen, we groove. So how would you move to it? <laughs> Amazing! Those were some great moves, everyone. Now, we're going to change the beat. Oh yeah! <laughs> the rhinos rock and roll! This song makes me want to rock out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> My movements are not as soft and as smooth now. They're more static, with a different kind of energy. My moves are also fast. <laughs> what kind of unique moves do we want to do when we listen to rock and roll? <laughs> awesome! Music change. Ooh, the lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. Let's listen to this. Should we make our movements fast or slow? This makes me want to move my shoulders. Ooh, how do you want to move when you hear the tango? <laughs> that tango was bold, but now the chimps all did the cha-cha with a very Latin feel. Oh! I love Latin music. I can express myself through salsa, cha-cha, bachata. <laughs> so how do you want to dance when you hear the cha-cha? Baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Ooh, this music is fun. What kind of moves does your body want to do? <laughs> Gerald swallowed bravely. Mm as he walked towards the floor. But the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Can we all show our claws? Let's take a deep breath in. Now we're going to stick our tongue out and roar. Roar! <laughs> One more time. Roar! Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the 
animals all sneered. Gerald can't dance, oh, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. <gasps> That's not very nice. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept from the dance floor and he started to walk home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. And when I feel overwhelmed and I can't express how I feel, I take a nice deep breath. Let's try it and see if it helps Gerald. Deep breath in through our nose. Hold it. And out like we're blowing some bubbles. Then he found a little clearing and looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <coughs> Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the tree. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So, imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really wanted to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground, his neck gently swaying, and his tail was swishing around. <gasps> hmm, how does this music make you feel? Let's start swaying like Gerald. Nice! He threw his leg out sideways. He swung them everywhere. Then, he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I am dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him, quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find the music we love. And so giraffes can dance, and so can you. Thank you so much for listening and grooving with me. Stay tuned for more videos in honor of Autism Awareness Month by following us on Facebook and Instagram and subscribing to our YouTube page. That's it for now, friends. Until next time, bye.